Hi everybody. Um, I do have videos on my computer that I could edit and post for you, but I'm really not in the mood for editing. <laughs> so I thought, I don't know, I thought I would try and do a video where I'm talking during the video and telling you what I'm doing so I don't have to do any editing and I still get to play. So I'm in the mood to make something like a project from start to finish which means if I want to do that in one day for me I'm a slow worker like I get distracted, I go off and I do something else and I just, it takes me a while to finish a project. But I'm hoping if I can think of something that's not too big and fairly simple or if I really get into it, then I can do a project from start to finish. Now this may take more than one video, but hopefully I'll get the first one posted today and maybe like the next one tomorrow and you know maybe all weekend where I can post the video every day fingers crossed because <laughs> I don't want the videos to be too long I'd rather break them up into smaller sections for you so I really don't know what exactly I'm doing like I don't have a plan so much but I was thinking, I haven't gel printed in a while. I tried to yesterday. I pulled out a bunch of stuff and I pulled two prints and I ripped them up, threw them in the garbage and put everything away. Like it was just not happening. I was not feeling it. And I felt like everything I created was gonna be crap, so. I didn't play yesterday. It was just one of those days, one of those moods where it just wasn't happening. So I'm hoping to have better luck today. I am, I have a, a little bit of an idea of what I wanna do. I pulled out some Dilutions Mixed Media cardstock. It's what I'm going to use because I'm going to use her paints. I'm going to try to use her new colors, not saying I won't pull out any of her older ones, but I am going to try and use her paints on the gel plate, which is something I don't normally do. So I really don't know how I'm going to like it because I'm not used to using her plates with gel printing. So I thought if I'm going to use her paints, I'm going to use her cardstock because maybe then that's how I'll get the best results. If you don't have loose sheets of her cardstock and you have one of her journals, you could just pull out some pages from her journal. I've done that before. But I just happened to have a pack and I had a couple sheets left over from an older pack. So I'm gonna use four sheets. And I have this piece that was cut off. I may print something on that too just in case I want something I don't know. I'm thinking I would like to make a mini album of sorts. Like not a lot of pages. I'm thinking maybe like one of these folded in half. But I'm going to gel print it as a whole because honestly I really have no idea what I'm doing. Like I don't know. I have no plan. So I don't know how I want to make the album, what size, what shape, how I want it bound. I'm just flying, was it, was the saying, flying by the seat of my pants? I don't know. <laughs> Probably got that all wrong. I also have some new stencils that came the other day. Well, some are new and some are just new to me. This is, they're all dilutions. This is an older one and it's called Diamond in the Rough. I've always loved this one, so I finally got it. This is a new one, and it's called Court Jester. And this is a new one, Otis's Orbs. I wasn't gonna get this one, but 
but whenever I saw her use it, I really loved how it looked. And I'm a sucker for circles. This is an older one, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know how old, because I don't even remember seeing it. It shutters. And this is an older one, although I don't think it's like super older. And it's giraffe. I could be wrong. Maybe it is really old. So I have those. I have lots of other dilation stencils as well. But I wanted to use some of my newer ones. So <laughs> can you tell I have no idea what I want to do? And it's making me nervous. Especially gel printing with the Dilutions paints, not knowing what it's going to be like and not having a plan. So let's see. I think I'll start off with some light colors so we can add layers on top. Let's try that. So I'm going to go with some Lemon Drop and Mango Punch. Sorry for this sniffling. So I'm not going for anything super special right now. I'm just getting a base layer. I get the feeling that a lot's going to show up. But that could be okay because maybe if there's not a lot on the first layer, it'll make it better and more interesting for layering. Ooh, I like that. I forgot my pages are probably going to run this way, so maybe I should have did the, put my paper down this way and did the paint more. I like how it's picking up. See, this is why I don't clean my gel, gel plate. I like all that grunge and marks from previous layers. <laughs> I must have done X's or something. Okay, so I'm going to do a few backgrounds first before I add the layers. Um, let's do tropical sangria. I think I may go with the yellow again. I don't know. Tropical, sangria, and lemon drop. So when I brayer one color, I then brayer that color off whatever's left on my brayer on this scrap piece over here because at first I don't want to mix the colors I want to get them spread first and then I'll go over that center area in a little bit so this time I'm going to try laying my paper this way And I chose to use the 12 by 12 because I find the gel plate, I didn't check, but usually the gel plate is not exactly the same size as an 11 and a half, no, 8 and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And I wanted full coverage. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper to get off that excess paint. I can see X's right there. I must have drew some on with something. So showing up on all my prints. But I don't care. If it bothered me, I could turn my plate around. That's our first two. Okay, 
Okay, let's get away from those colors because I use that a lot. Let's try... Hmm. Going for a sour apple teeny. I don't know if I should do this one. It might be too dark for a base layer. Sour apple teeny and what? That look weird. I don't know. Let's try it. So strawberry daiquiri and sour apple teeny. This may look ridiculous. I don't know. We will find out. The nice thing about the tubes, it makes it a whole lot easier for gel printing. Like the jars, you would have to scoop some up and put it on your plate. And that would be annoying. This color combo may not be too bad. So I'm also wondering if I should do the backs of the pages because I don't know how I, I'm gonna bind this. I have, like I said, I have no plans. I'm going into this blind, so maybe I will print both sides. Ooh, I like it. for two different shades of green. Sour, apple teeny, and island parrot. That came out kind of funny. No idea what this will look like. Oh, I got a little bit of pink left on my brayer. I know these aren't looking like much right now, but I plan on layering. Didn't get quite to the edge, but oh well. Aren't they bright? Okay, let's do the other side of them. Um, I'm gonna go pink flamingo and what? Feels like I should be staying with all the brights for the backgrounds. Mm. I feel like I want to stay in the cocktail family. Or at least like the green was still bright. So I think I'm going to stay with the bright colors for the background and then maybe introduce the more like regular colors in the layers over top. We'll see how that goes. I'm really not a fan of the blue Hawaiian. It's 
so it makes me not want to use it because you know how you use a color and if you don't really care for the color chances are you're not going to like whatever it is you do like I tend to stay away from purple because it is not a favorite color of mine at all uh, maybe I'll try adding the blue in like little bits in the layers so what color should I do it's kind of limiting when you only have six I'm trying to think of a different color combo maybe we could do green and yellow I'm going to try and do it because I have a lot of that's just separated you know divided so I'm going to try to do it more random I don't want everything to look pretty much the same. I feel so out of practice with gel printing. Like I haven't done it in so long that I feel like I don't have a clue what I'm doing anymore. And then I feel bad because my gel printing videos are like my most popular videos like all the other videos are like low thousands for views and then my gel printing ones like almost 50,000 views like for me I know for some youtubers that's like nothing but for me that's huge that is like really huge that blows me away And I feel bad that I'm not putting out more gel printing videos for those that like them. I know you can't satisfy everybody, but I mean, I do like gel printing. <laughs> it's really not a lot of color there. That's okay, because it's just the background layer. what I've done and come up with a different combination. Let's do strawberry daiquiri and mango punch. Let's try that. I do love how fluid they are because it makes it so much easier for spreading. I'm just going to roll this one and see what we get. I'm trying not to brayer it too much because it takes the paint off and then that's why I'm getting left with the white spots. Because first when you're brayering it's spreading the paint and then if you do it too much it actually lifts off the paint. Like with these paints, I can see it. I know they're made of something different than her other paints. So I don't know, whatever that is, it's like it's separating. 
on the gel plate. That's why I'm trying not to brayer it too much. But. I don't know, that may turn out yucky. Hopefully if it's yucky, we'll be able to fix it with some top layers. Maybe I'll just do yellow and see if it pulls up any previous layers. For the first layer on the gel prints, I thought I would choose some uh, fairly larger scale stencils. Now this one's kind of a mixture of the two, but I figured with it being just the one pattern, maybe it won't be quite as busy. So, Because my idea is like the first layer would be like a bigger scale size um, stencil and not too busy so it's almost like creating just another background layer so I chose honeycomb this one's squiggle yep squiggle this one I'm unsure about I'm afraid that one I don't know if that one's going too busy or not. I don't know. I might give it a try. That one's retro. This I'm thinking just the circle part. Which is checkered dots. I love this stencil. Angles. Shutters. And giraffe. Oh, that's this one, Diamond in the Rough, I believe. Yeah. So I'm thinking for the first layer of stencil, I'm still going to stick with the cocktails and try to keep it in the same color grouping. I mean, this one, it's yellow, so I'm not going to go over it again with yellow, but I may choose the green. Like so it's not too contrasting. So I think I will take the green and do... Now depending on how you do this... I'm trying to decide if I want this space or if I want the lines. So just a little tip. If you wanted the actual lines and not the negative space, then what you could do is apply your paint first, then lay down your stencil, take a scrap piece of paper, put it on top, and pull all the paint that's showing in the negative. And then when you pull off your stencil, you're left with the paint of this design. But I want this part. 
but I'm gonna go I'm still gonna do my paint first or am I I don't know how well this is going to be able to make contact because that paint is very, very fluid and this paper is very thick. I think I'm going to lay down the stencil and then apply the paint. And then remove the stencil. I just want it in areas. This one has some left over, and this one has some green on it. it won't show very much. Okay, so that's it for that one. Now, if you wanted. Maybe I'll take this one and see if we'll get any paint. I don't know how much paint was there. Yeah, not a whole lot. Okay, so I'm done with that one. strawberry daiquiri. I do have some left there. I'm gonna put this one down. And I also have it. I don't know if it'll show up. If you wanted, you could take a baby wipe. Let's see. And you're cleaning your stencil and you're also getting it on your paper. It's very faint. Let's see if we got anything on this one. There we go. So I'm trying to use the stencil only once. I know I'm getting it on different pieces, but. So on this one, I'm going to go with. So I'm going to choose the same color and that's mango punch and I'm gonna go with the triangle angles that may have been too much There's still more. 
a little bit. Now I'm not going to pull that off until I'm ready to choose which background. I think I'll do this one. We still have more, but I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to let it add in with whatever color I choose next. I don't want to put it on top of my gel plate. So I just cleaned off the stencil like I did with the other one and just got very little bit. shutters. And I want it to go... I'm not sure which way I want it to go. So we may pull up some of this as well. I like it, it's subtle. still there. It didn't come off. I think I'll just go with this one. No. I'm going to go with this one. I like that one. You can see the triangles from the previous layer, but then you have the rectangles from the shutters. I don't think I'll get anything else, but I'm just checking. And I'm pushing a little harder than I normally would. Nope. 
that is dried on. sangria. I don't know if there's any paint left on there. Nope. I'm nervous about it, but I'm going to go with this one. I feel like I want some yellow on this one. I'm gonna see if I can get some circles. Hexagons with this one and let's try this sangria. So I want it to show up but not too in your face. So let's try this one.
start stopping. <laughs> leave it, leave it. This over so my paper doesn't stick. I zoom in a bit so you can see. And this is what we have so far. There's areas that kind of look muddy to me, but hopefully by the time everything's done and the album is finished, it won't look so bad. Not a fan of this one. <laughs> but maybe we can make it better with the layers. This one's fairly simple. I mean, they're all fairly simple. It's just getting a base. I don't know how this is going to go, but there's a lot of stuff left on my plate. So I'm going to apply some clear gel medium and see if I can get it. This may be a flop, but I thought I'd record it just in case it works. Okay, my battery died and I have no idea at what point. So what I've done is there was leftover dilutions, paints like patterns and stencils and stuff. So I applied some clear gel medium on my gel plate. And I got some. And this is the dilutions mixed media cardstock. Now this is just recollections cardstock and I applied more gel medium and I've let it sit for a bit like it's only been probably a few minutes Ooh, nice see that's the kind of stuff that makes me happy So like this, I find this boring. <laughs> this, this is what I love. But it takes making all these prints to get the grungy goo. <laughs> grungy goo, I like that one. See? Saving that one for last. here. These were tags that I made when I tried gel printing yesterday. So maybe the key is to let it sit for a bit. I'm going to Maybe two projects in one.
way to clean your gel plate too. So I'm just going around all the edges with the gel medium. I'm going to try and get it to come off. I'm going to let those sit on there for a bit. It's 11.35, so I'll try to remember to look at my time when I come back and pull them off. Okay, it is 11.42, and I can't believe I actually remembered to check. I'm impressed with myself. Now, do I remember what time it was when I, like the first time when I said I was going to let it dry? <laughs> I feel like I said it was 11.35, but I'm not positive. Okay, time to pull. So it turns out the patience is the key. Who would have thought? And the only way I was able to let it wait that long, I watched a couple YouTube videos while I was waiting. <laughs> so gel medium and letting it sit, it works. I'm gonna get a clean gel plate. That's a win-win. The last one. 